everybody, welcome back to another reaction video. Hope you're doing well. My name is Todd. This is a continuation of the Heather's Musical animatic series. Uh, I do have a playlist for it. You'll see it at the end. This is called Big Fun. It was requested by a Patreon subscriber. You two can join the Patreon link down below. The description will get you there. If you're liking the video, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, hit that notification bell. That way you know when videos post immediately. And you can come check them out. And let's go. Skinamax, classic. Folks are gone. <laughs> it's time for big fun. Big fun. We're up till dawn. Have I don't think they show that fun. stuff anymore. I think they changed and away from that. Forget to lock the liquor cabinet. It's big fun. Big fun. Big fun. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. So it's salt and then lime and then shot. No, it's salt then You're shot. You're doing it wrong. Wait, really? Cause I feel great. Salt Veronica, shot line. You are looking good tonight. I've never even done that before, by the way. I just take a shot. <laughs> no chaser. Everyone's high as a kite. Ain't nobody home tonight. Stone, stone, I should quit. Hey, is that weed? I wanna hit. Fill that joint and roll it tight. Ain't nobody home tonight. Dreams are. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Leave it for the adults. What? They're coming true when people laugh, but not at you. I'm not alone. I'm not afraid. I feel like bottle at live air. Ah, the house is ours. It's time for big fun. Big fun. Let's use their showers. That sounds like big fun. Big fun. Crack open one more case. I think that's what they call third base. Big fun. Big fun. Big fun. That actually looks like big fun. Big fun. Big fun. Big fun. I just saw some freshmen sneaking over the pool fence. I hate freshmen. Where are you, little pricks? I'm coming oh for you. God. Hey, are you okay? I didn't need your help. Aww, thanks, Heather, but I don't really have to vomit right now. <laughs> the party's hot, hot, hot. It's time for big fun. Big fun. You need a gentle shot. We're having big fun. Big fun. Martha Dump Truck in the flesh. Here comes the cootie squad. We should shut up. Sorry, Heather. Look who's with her. Oh my god. Dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang, dang. I can't believe you actually came. It's exciting, right? Oh, I want to say hello to Ram. I brought sparkling cider. <laughs> Showing up here took some guts. Time to rip them out. Well, who's this pig remind you of? Especially the snout. <laughs> dang, dang, diggity, dang, 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 diggity, dang, dang. Where the hell are those freshmen? Hi, Ram. Uh, I wasn't gonna come, but since you took the time to write that sweet note. What note? Why do you gotta be so weird all the time? People wouldn't hate you so much if you acted normal. <laughs> There's no alcohol in here. Are you trying to poison me? I thought that was going to end poorly. 
Link down below in the description for the original video. Go throw it some love. Boy, it is a dangerous game having parties at your parents' house. Not a good idea. Uh, there was a story about a kid who had one of those, I don't know if you remember this movie, but Project X came out in 2012, maybe? Project X was released on March 2nd, 2012. Damn, I nailed that. There was this kid who had a party at his parents' house and it ended up burning down the damn house because he styled it after Project X and there were so many kids that showed up. A fire somehow got started. I don't even know the full story of it, but yeah, his parents' house burned to the ground. <laughs> so uh, yeah, not exactly the smartest idea to have a party, high school party or whatever at your parents' house because uh, things are going to get damaged, things are going to get stolen, and this sh might burn down completely. I knew some kids in high school that would just go out to uh, to one of the parks and just drink, and I'm like, yeah, that seems a little safer. You know, you're at a park, you got a bunch of people there, um, you know, you're not breaking each other's property or anything like that, so it's probably a smarter idea to do it that way. And yet again, this is a gentle reminder that high school people are uh, are pretty mean. They can be. And uh, yeah, it's one of those things. I was never a bully when I was younger, but uh, I'm wondering, you know, thinking about them now, if they really regret it or if they look back and go, damn, I was kind of a jerk to a lot of people. It'd be interesting to know how many high school bullies actually look back on themselves and reflect and regret doing what they did. We always see it in like the movies and stuff like that or TV shows where they regret how they did it or they call up somebody that they bullied or something or go visit them at the reunion and apologize. How often that actually happens and if people have any sort of reflection on it or if people are just completely lost in who they are as a person. Maybe they just grew up to be an adult asshole. Who knows? What's funny is the older I get, the more I think that people just are living in their own bubble and have very little self-awareness or reflection ability. And it is interesting. It really makes you not want to interact with too many people. Keep your, keep your circle small and uh, hope for the best. You know, what's funny is when the Heathers were making fun of that girl, I was like, I was just about to stop it and be like, man, girls can be pretty mean to each other in those formative years. And then the guy, and then the guy rips on her and I'm like, boy, everybody can be a monster. <laughs> it is what it is, I guess. I don't know. I just, I never felt the need to try to ridicule somebody like that. I don't know why. Good parenting, maybe. I was always taught all those classic tropes of, you know, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, which I think is a golden rule or whatever. If you don't have something nice to say, don't say it kind of things, which is yes, that's good, but also there's certain times where it's needed to be said. <laughs> I never really felt the need to go off on anybody too bad. How about you? Were you a monster when you were in high school or were you one of the nice kids? Were you one of the kids picking on other people? Be honest, let me know in the comments. <laughs> or were you one of those people kind of like me isn't that movie called like Wallflowers or something or Wallflower, whatever? I think it's a book too. The kids are on the outside looking in and just kind of observing everything. Uh, that was basically me. So I guess I was a wallflower. I don't even know if I'm using that right. I've never even seen the movie. I just remember the title of it. And I think that's what it was about. I don't even know. But uh, let me know down below in the comments. I'm pretty sure I was a wallflower. Just kind of on the outside looking in and kind of observing what the heck was going on and going, that sucks, that person's mean, that person's nice, that person's lost, that person's <laughs> just like sitting back and just kind of assessing the situation. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. There is a playlist with all the other different sections of the Heather musical animatics. Thanks so much for your time, I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, take care of yourselves, bye bye. <laughs>